that channel off. And I gotta figure out how to work with this because this thing is sliding. Cause she's so brand spanking new until I don't know what to do. Come on, T.I. <clears throat> so how is everyone doing? How's everyone New Year's going? You know. I had a wonderful time bringing in the new year. Happy New Year's to you too, Jim. Got shit going on. My nerves is bad. <clears throat> I'm ready to cut this shit off my head. He getting it started for the old folks. Come on, Jeff. Happy 2018. Is everything, is everything, is everything, is what? Is everything, is what? I need some lip stuff on my lips. They feel dry and chapped. Oh, <clears throat> no, I don't want that. That's like two. No, I ain't not gonna. No, I ain't not gonna boost yet. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be real good until I find the one. I'm still gagged on Nation that I had won all this shit today. Oh, didn't I say 2018 was going to be my year? Didn't I say that? Look at this. Walked up in there, bought some shit. They said, roll, roll the dice. Roll, roll, roll. Bow. You got the mega. What, what, what? I almost crit walk all over that place. I did bust a little three, four step real quick on that ass. Just to show my appreciation. You know what I mean? I couldn't walk out without busting it up. And But yeah. So it's hot. I'm so happy and thankful for it. Because that means the year's going to be great for me. First day of the new year, I win all this free weed. But the big bags I bought. But this little baggie with this cookie. Baby, this is free. This is about $75 worth of, if not $100 worth of shit, no shade. Because this is about $15 to $20 just for this cookie. Yeah, this is about a good $100 worth of shit. <clears throat> Free shit on the new year. Oh, I've been having this patch in my head, this gray patch, since I was like 15 14 or something, I noticed I had gray hairs at a very young age. And this part where the gray is always used to grow this way. And my hair would grow this way, but this would grow that way. And whenever I put a texturizer like an S curl, this part would go, it will always flip up. But yeah, that's where it's from. You know, then I have uh, two cousins. They have the same little part right here. Like they have the same gray spot. And I think my other cousin, his just a little bigger, like wider with the gray. But yeah, we got the little spot. No Tino Shay. Get my gel. 41 loving it. That part. Which part is that part? What part is all parts? Yes, indeed. Yes, and fuck indeed. <clears throat> He's trying to have people making babies. Um, did y'all hear about T.S. Madison and Kaya supposed to got... 
put out, they didn't get put out though because she was still in the building. It was a video of that. But Candy was like, oh no, man, Tamar, you will not be putting them on stage. I was like, ooh. I'm like, wow. That was interesting. I said, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no. I woke up to this shit. I'm like, you know what? I wake up every day to some somebody else's drama. But you don't hear, you know, the Masters is in the middle of nothing. But Queen's Court is going to be something. Well, they definitely wasn't thrown out because here's a video right here, clear as day, of T.S. Madison and everybody in the room still. So she wasn't, she wasn't, they wasn't put out. So we just witnessed that that was false. So... There we have it on that part. Damn. I can't wait to see how this play out and lay out because you know it's going to be some drama. You need help. You tried it and failed at what, just? Yeah, because they said that they asked that they want to stay. They was like, no. We only came to see Tamar anyway. I said, no, ma'am. You didn't want to see all the girls? I said, no, bitch, I want to see Tamar. No, ma'am. What about Escape? I want to see them girls too. But you know, oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. Uh-uh, did you see that? Uh-uh, don't go back. Don't go back to that. Oh, you talking about what restaurant that is, right. But did you see that? That is a rat. London Fish and Chips, no, ma'am. That rat is fucking that food completely up. People think I'm crazy. I don't like to brag on nothing. But today, baby, I went and spent 300 and something dollars on groceries because I said this year, I know for a fact I'm going to do more cooking than going out to eat. Because of shit like that. And I already know if I get back to that habit of cooking food, cook food on, baby, I'm not eating out nowhere. Fuck that. Bitch, I'll pack me a fucking lunch and call it the fucking day. Y'all can eat all y'all want. I got me a little snack bag I could chew on, but I'm not eating no more motherfucking fast food and shit like this going on. Fucking up my stomach and shit. People, somebody asked me, where do I find these videos? I find it, oh! Blue moon, you gotta bring it out. I would have whooped her ass though. 
Bitch, you ain't gonna be uh, pulling no gilders off at me. Like that at the club. But she was pretty though. Is it, is, you know what I mean? We're not, we can't say she's ugly because she's definitely not ugly. She's very pretty. So her hair definitely didn't make her. But she wore that ass out when she snatched that off though. She wore that ass out. But she was beautiful. She's still beautiful with or without hair. So that ain't the problem. The problem was he wasn't expecting her to snatch that off like that. Which I wonder if he still would have tried to talk to her or dance with her because her hair was short like that. Because some women really do look very beautiful with short hair. Do I talk? No, I am friends with T.S. though. I don't know Kaya. But me and uh, Madison, we are cool. We do have each other's phone number. We do text and do all that stuff and call each other. Every blue moon. But I don't know Kaya. I never met or talked to Kaya. So I don't know her at all. But yeah, me and the Maddie made we cool. You know? I just let my sis do her, you know what I mean? We'll kick it later. Cause she already know I'm gonna be like, girl, <clears throat> I need to get all this gym. And then I get the gym. Even though I don't see now the gym, but just to have her tell me in the ear be more funnier than, you know me seeing it on TV with the whole world or on, on the computer. Oh, everybody hit me up because I posted that video about weed. Yes, ma'am. You know I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I do do me just. Hold on, Jill. I hear something uh, potting up in there. Let me make sure my shit ain't gonna go overboard. Oh, that smells amazing. You know where I think some people go wrong with food and cooking? Like vegetables, they turn them up too high. Cook your vegetables on low. There's no need to rush them. Let that shit cook on low and simmer right. You know... I really think people should do that because they are just smelling up the place. This fumes and shit just going through. What is going on with that baby out there? Damn, he out there screaming or something. What the fuck is going on? Damn. This motherfucker just got his baby out there just fucking screaming. Pick that motherfucker up. Little ass kid. What the fuck? I don't know how to prop this thing up without it falling over. Let me see if that is sliding down. 
I just bought me one of these new fucking phone cords that's real super long. There we go. Nope, because bitch, you gonna fall. Just sit like that, you. Okay. Ugh. But yeah, got that motherfucking baby out there screaming. My favorite strand, I don't have a favorite strand. Just give me some weed. I don't give a fuck if it's backdoor weed, grown in the damn garage weed. Just give me some old bunk ass weed. Just give it to me. If it's too, if I get too high, I drink coffee. Give me a cup of coffee and I'm soup. Oh, this meal about to be on fire. Oh, I need to do my corn. That ain't nothing but about five, man. I cook that corn real quick. Fry that corn up. That's nothing. But I'm good. I'm good with dirt. Dirt weed. Sure am. Give me some dirt weed. I've been smoking dope. I was not dope. I was smoking dirt weed when I first started smoking weed. Then we all was smoking some dirt. Skunk weed, bunk weed, backyard weed. We had smoked weed. Some cheap ass broke down weed. You smoke the dead, you can smoke it out. And if my weed man still sold weed, I'll buy some from him. Shit. That was $120 for a quarter pound. I went in every three and a half months. Depending on what the months is like. But shit, I didn't need weed for a minute. Quarter pound of weed, baby, please. That was a brick. <coughs> For a hundred and twenty dollars, you spending twenty and thirty and twenty on these damn nickel bags, no ma'am. Give me that hundred and twenty. But just weed is weed to me, you know. I'm cooking stuffing or dressing, whatever people want to call it, with uh chicken like chicken strips in it, and then I'm cooking stream beans. Black eyed peas with jalapenos. I made some gravy and then I have, um, I'm going to make some corn. And I have some like dinner rolls and stuff. I want to do that too. But have anybody ever tried putting bacon bits in your gravy? Me neither. I just tried it today. So I'm going to see what that turned out. Because I tried one because I bought it for the salad. Because, you know, I get the uh, Olive Garden. Uh, Signature salad at the grocery store just to get my salad judged. So I had bought some bacon bits just trying to get on my salad tea. And um, yeah, had them sitting up there. So I was like, let me throw this shit up in this gravy real quick. It looked good as fuck though. Damn, it looked good. I said, baby. I said, I hope this come out the way I think it's going to come out. Because if it do, ho, 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 me or oh my. By Georgia, bacon makes everything taste better. Just okay. I was like, damn. I just felt like my, I just felt like it needed something. <clears throat> and then, you know, bitch didn't have no gizzards. And I didn't have nothing else. You know what I mean? So I did I just felt like some meat she went up in there. And now the, now that I'm thinking, I should have went ahead and made some potatoes and some potato salad. But now I really do have taste for a potato salad. And I can make my own because I know it's not going in the sink. And nothing like that. You coming up to my house for Thanksgiving? Baby, I cook like this all the time, but you can. It's on the 638 in the city, motherfucking A. Baby, I'm going to be good, fool. Shower, shit, dish, and shaved by 8 o'clock. Enchiladas, I, Kiani, I just 
I just bought some cheese for some enchiladas. I said, you know what? Because I'm not trying to fuck around with all this fast food and eating shit no more. I said, um, I'm on some enchiladas. And I just bought four cheeses. Just bought them. They had them like two for five dollars at, what's the name? I'm coming down tomorrow because I'm taking my baby to Chuck E. Cheese and girl, wherever else he going. <clears throat> I'm taking him to Chuck E. Cheese, but we sure could go to Olive Garden before I come home. We sure could pull that off. That we can do. So that's, that's set in stone. We got that taken care of. I'm headed to Palm Springs early on uh, Thursday. <clears throat> I'm going to get there early Thursday. Because it would be traffic. Oh, that look good as fuck. So we sure can fuck up Olive Garden before I go home. That is, that's perfect. Perfect. Perfecto. I think I'm just going to bring me a little bit of garlic salt, though. Because I like garlic. I, I want my, you know, I want my, my, my pasta to have a lot of garlic, though. Now I can't even wait. From 10 a.m. to 2. 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, girl. I won't probably leave here until about 2.30. Maybe we can meet somewhere off the freeway. You gonna use up all day cheese? <laughs> Girl, I'm gonna fuck them breadsticks up. I'm gonna make sure I don't eat. Yes, did you get some? I'm telling you, Claudette, Girl, it's the real shit. My sister Chevelle told me that. She said, bitch, you can buy the damn the dressing out the stove. So I'm like, what? I'm like, okay, let me see. Lo and behold, it was that. Thank goodness I bought two. Because I have fucked that up. Yes, indeed. Are they going down the street again? I think they are. Something always happened down. What is going on down at this house? I've been here 11 years, and I swear the ambulance and the firemen go to this one house down the street all the time, at least six, seven times out of the year. It's the first day of the fucking year. <clears throat> People tripping outside. See, that's why, no ma'am. When the lights go down, I will be gone. I would be on thine freeway coming north of that because they don't know how to act. When the lights go out, the sun, I gotta go. Fuck street lights. When that sun go down, I'm out of here. Bye, peace, gotta go. That's why I'm in the house right now. I don't wanna be bothered. No, ma'am. People fucked up. I don't even want to be in that. What was your comment, Indiana? They coming for the baby. Okay. Stop by my house. I live in Beeline, so it's on the way. You already have the address. Okay, you're gonna need to give that to me again Thursday. As I shoot last night, power went out. Oh hell no! Nah. See, they shooting up the damn cores and shit. And, and nobody got time for that. That's why I'm charging up all my gadgets and shit right now. Just in case. Because nobody got time for that, baby. No. No, ma'am. Hey, Jeff. I love you too, Jeff. 
with my twin do until I say Happy New Year. Happy New Year, twin. Feliz Navidad. Happy Kwanzaa. Merry Christmas. Happy Fourth of July. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We used to fuck that up when we was younger. Just a little inside joke. I'll be down tomorrow. Happy Kwanzaa. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Wait, who was it? <coughs> <coughs> Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Feliz Navidad. Happy New Year. All of those in that order. That's what it was. <laughs> Tell her we're going to go eat uh, tomorrow. We're going to go eat Olive Garden. So be prepared. I want to be there just like you are. Just like the song says, gotta be there. Be there in the morning. I said, whoa. I <laughs> got it. <laughs> You want to smoke with me? I want to smoke with you, too, if you're of age. If you ain't of age, I can't be bothered. And if you're, un if you're 18 and up, well, 18 to 20, I need to make sure we have people around. Because I don't want to hear no fake bullshit. You want me trying to say I did not a damn to not the dying ass. Who is this? They don't want to talk right now. Come to Atlanta and didn't even get to see you. I know I was in the ATL for a whole week. You know what I mean? What was your tea? Ooh, that food smells like it is going over well. Ooh. Yeah, parent supervision for the cush. You got to. You know what I mean? It's just like, baby. Baby, I love everything at Olive Garden. I just don't do the seafood. The the shrimp and shit. I don't do that, but everything else, I fuck it up. I don't do the seafood, I don't do the black olives, and I don't do um, <clears throat> the croutons all the time. I may do croutons every blue moon, but everything else, go on and give it to me. And I don't do that, yeah, I don't want the seafood stuff. Yeah, because I, baby, I don't know if I could come back to the ATL. It had wore my nerves completely out. All of the nasty and green or black. Hold on, Jill, because something is fumigating. Ooh, that smells like a winner.
Okay, I'm sorry. I had to find my dish. Oh, it looks, it smells so good. And I sampled that little gravy. That gravy is whooping ass. Mmm. These are my favorite. And they had them for a dollar. Which honestly wasn't a deal. So I bought three. And I ate two in the car. And try to save one for later tonight. It didn't work. And Reese's peanut butter cups are my favorite. Mm. Only this kind, the ones that are come like in a single ones, and then some of them little small ones. But the ones that come in that four pack, those are nasty as fuck. Them little motherfuckers are nasty as fuck. I'm like, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't it. This ain't it. I have never in my life had a decent pack of the ones that come in four. Never. Take the first bite, can't do the rest. Because it ain't, it ain't, that ain't a reason. That ain't it. That is not the same taste. I'm sorry. That is not the same taste. I know. I've been eating Reese's all my life. And that in that four pack versus the ones that come in the little singles or the ones that come in that double like that or even the little small ones, that's a whole nother taste in that four pack from those right there. No, ma'am. No fucking ma'am. I know for a fact. Because I've been eating them motherfuckers for eons and eons and eons. And boxes and boxes and boxes of them. Just fucking them up. It's something about that. Well, you know what? I just, I don't know. I just think Atlanta just... I don't know, baby. Maybe I need to go back. And I don't know. It was just a lot. The airport was too much for me. You know what I mean? And it was just, it was just wearing my nerves completely out. Why does it seem like I'm missing? I'm sorry, it was just looking like I was missing some diamonds out of my ring.
Hmm. I'm sorry, but I had to. Um, <clears throat> it just looked awfully weird to me. But I guess it's just the way the light is on it. I don't know. But I was sure finna go ask some questions. And the first one I was going to ask was, how long was it going to take for y'all to fix this? That was the first question I was going to ask. Not how you doing. Not that. How long is it going to take for y'all to fix this? Because I don't know why these came out. I understand that part. That's going to get that together. So how long is it going to take? And if it take a week, Give me something else to rock for a moment. I got things to do, people to see. How did I choose my drag name? Um, well, I, I already had the name Masters for my drag mom. And when I was going to do drag, I didn't have a first name. And we went through some names, and then I thought of Jasmine Guy from a different world, which is Whitley Gilbert. And I was like, hmm, what about Jasmine? And then the host said, bring it on to the stage, Jasmine Masters. So by that time, I had no choice to change it if I wanted to, because she already announced me as Jasmine Masters. I won the contest, and I've been Jasmine Masters ever since. And there was no need to change my name. Because, let me reroute you, because Jasmine Masters is already... And everybody ear and mouth because I shut it down for them Patty LaBelle tickets. Whoa, hoes out. Had bitches older than me upset with me because I did Patty. So tore that ass up. Sure did. Had a hoe hate me for years. Sure did. Whoa that ass out doing Patty for them damn tickets, bitch. I'm going to go see her. And I won. And that's all they was talking about the whole night, the whole week. Because they asked me to perform at the next event. They wanted me to perform again. And I said, yeah. And... I couldn't change my name if I wanted to. And if I did, I would have been dumb as hell. Because all they knew was Jasmine Masters shut down Patti LaBelle. That's all they knew. Because I had tore them asses up. Whoever's going before me, have fun. Whoever's coming after me, good fucking luck. Because I was not there to play around. And I got them tickets. That bitch is pissed at me. Oh, well. Ain't my fault. I think she got a fake ID. Oh, fucking well. They can't take them back if I did have a fake ID, which I did. But bitch, they can't do nothing now, bitch. It's over with. I got the tickets in my hand. They can't cancel them tickets. They can't go to the damn theater and sit there and tell me I can't come in unless they want their ass whooped. So, bitch, get over it. I just came in and tore your ass up and you was not expecting that. Now, laugh at that, bitch. <laughs> and then I seen that bitch a couple of, like, three years ago. I'm in fucking Dallas. And, you know, this bitch treated me like shit. Just treated me like shit. I never gave a fuck anyway. I'm like, what, 17, 18, 19? This bitch just treated me like shit. I'm always like, hey, how you doing? But I knew all the black girls did all the same. Diana Ross, Tina Turner, Patti LaBelle. And, you know, sometimes we may go out there and dance or whatever. But, bitch, I'm young as fuck, so I'm knocking all these hoes out the box. Let me go. Oh, she do Diana Ross? Let me go and do Donna Ross tonight while she, in, while she working with me. You know, while we working together. Lighting that ass up. Everything I knew she did, I came right around the corner and wore her ass out. Bitch, you, you don't like me? Okay. 
And I always say, hey, how you doing? And she just always threw me shade, okay. And then I seen her ass in Dallas. And she's like, yeah, we know the same people. I'm like, mm-hmm. I remember you treating me like shit back in the day. And how are you? And I just turned right back around. No, bitch, we not cool like that. And then I seen her ass a couple of, like, a year or so ago. She was like, yeah, that's like my granddaughter. Bitch, my, that, that bitch ain't even my motherfucking sister who you talking about. And if it was, she was my sister. She was not, that was your daughter. Remember, you had your two daughters. I was the one you didn't like. Right in her face in front of her friends. Bitch, don't play me like that. She was floored. Right, bitch. No, ma'am. My mother is Destiny Masters, boo-boo. And my trans mother is Tracy O'Brien. My mother is Fila Masters. That's it, baby. That's all. What the hell? No, ma'am. We don't go that far like that, just. She was just like, oh. and I continue to watch the pageant. Like, where was the tea? You can't be shocked at the truth. It's the truth. You know it's the truth. And if you don't know, I'm going to make you remember. But she got the drift, though. No shade. She sure got that. Oh, well. What I do with them blunts? Are oh, they on the floor? Damn. This is when I need like a fucking stick and tool. Hold on, Jim. But her ass shows no for a fact now.
Oh, it's Monday. I don't have shit to do. I'm sorry, y'all. That took longer than I expected. But you know, if I was gone that long, I was chewing. Oh, I was getting the blunts. I had to make sure I was well in doubt. Was the no jail? Just woo. Damn, them seasons are just popping on through. God damn. Woo. I can't wait to cut my hair. This weed feels strong to me for some reason. Damn. But uh, Feliz Navidad. Champela. Oh, I need to watch the new uh, hip hop of uh, Florida. The time I thought to me, I just I wanted to. Hey, what are you doing, Jay? All right, laundry, Jeff. Well, I got your tree, Jeff. Okay, Jeff. Let me say, 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 let me so I got the two leaves, and the two leaves is the mega prize. This is the mega prize. I think it's like a hundred dollars. They gave me five pre rolls joints of uh, an indica. Then they gave me another one of a sativa that was like ten dollars. And then they gave me a gram of some other shit. And then they gave me a gram of some fucking chief and a fucking cookie. Jeez, you got the jackpot. That's I got the jackpot, yeah. On New Year's? <laughs> you supposed to go play the live out. Hello? That's what I... Shit, I want to pop springs on Thursday. Penny Machine, here I come. Pop, 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 You just gonna pick up and bounce though, Jess? You want me to stay with Jess? It's my friend from New York, Jess. It could, yeah. I got drag on the floor, Jess. You got what? I got drag on the floor. Ain't not that kind of Jess. It's awful. No, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> it was just you, Jess. All right, but baby, I got drag. I'm trying to wash and shit because I don't want that shit stinking. So, you know, I got to sort it out for, you know, early morning wash teas. Well, let me see, because then, let me see what he's going to do. If he's going to go hang out with his little gestures, then I'll come smoke with you. Yeah, well, just let me know, Jay. Then if not, you can just swing by and I can just, or you can just run up I'll and grab it. I'll do a, a, a drive-by. Yeah, do a drive-by. Treat me like all thought. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. Okay, I'm sorry, Jay. I had to get that, Jay. Yeah, Jack by Jay. I said, what the fuck? I said, baby, this is the new year. Do you mean? They was like, 
Don't nobody ever hit that. I think I was, they said very few. Fuck that. So let me get this. Bam! I said, I knew playing craps when I was younger, but my cousins were going to come in handy. <laughs> Woo! That's why I love when I play basketball, like with straight dudes, and they just think, like, I can't play. I'm like, baby, my brother was one of the best basketball players around. I know how to play basketball. Then they be shocked because I be busting them threes on that ass and I'm, I'm quick. I'm quick. I'm old, but I'm quick. They be like, what the fuck? Right. Honey. I grew up with boys in around me. I had to play football, all that shit. And I wanted to. I had fun, shit. I was whooping their ass in sports and whooping a girl's ass in tetherball. Bang, bang, tearing that orange yellow fucking ball up all the way to the top, just jumping up, popping it, popping it. They pissed off. I know they used to call me all type of little sissies and fags. I didn't give a fuck if they did, because I said, tear that ass up. I remember one time I had, it was my chest, my turn to hit it. And I balled up my fist and I said, BOW! And the way that ball went, it went down and went up and popped the girl right in the face. And it dazed her ass. It happened so quick. It was just like, whoop, boop. And she was just out. She was Nose is bleeding and shit. Mouth is all puffy. She was just. We was like. <gasps> I was like, oh, what should, <laughs> what should I do? Like, oh my God, is it my fault? But it wasn't like my fault. We was playing the ball. It just happened to, you know, I didn't do it on purpose. And we was, you know, we was cool. It wasn't, you know, that I didn't like or nothing. It just so happened that the ball. Wore out. She was paying attention, doing my serve. And that motherfucking ball was just like, bam! And it started whoop, poop. She was, Mama hit that floor. And I can't think of her fucking name, but they were saying her name, they saying her name. I was just like, oh, what should I do? But they were like, it's not your fault. The teacher was like, it's not your fault. You're fine. It's not your fault. It's just an accident. <coughs> and it was an accident, but it wasn't my fault. I mean, I laid her ass out with a tether ball. Tore that ass up. Now that I think about it. Fourth grade. I remember my teacher's name was Mr. Anderson. And he was like, what happened? And I was like, <laughs> we was playing tennis ball, and I hit the ball, and it hit her. <laughs> I was so scared. <clears throat> I was scared, like, oh, my gosh. But she was just in the, she wasn't far back enough. I don't know, but I tore her ass up. The mama went down. Boom. And she had blood. Her lip was bleeding and shit. She was damn knocked the fuck out. It's like, oh, get her to the nurse. Call her mama. Somebody come see about her. I was like, what should I do? It's not my fault, but I... I was scared. They was like, no, it's not your fault. It was an accident. I said, okay. And after that, really didn't nobody want to play with me. If they did, they stood all the way back and came in when it was time. But other than that, I was a beast. Back alive. My brother told me one time, when somebody messaged you, just look at their head like it's a tether ball. And the same way you hit that tether ball that you shouldn't be playing, 
He said, hit the head like that. Okay. So sometimes that's the lick of somebody's head, like give the tennis ball and just <laughs> just tear all that side off. But that only happened like a few times. You know, we already talked about that on time. So. That's how I know I have a mean slap. I don't know if y'all remember me talking about this. Me and my friends didn't want to play. They wanted to play a slap game. Because the boy heard that I had a mean slap. So he was like, I want to know what this slap is like. And I was like, no, because you slap me, I'm, you know, I'm going to do all that. So he was like, okay, well, just slap me then, and I want to know. Because they everybody kept saying, like, how hard I slapped this other boy one time, right? So this boy was like, I want to know, I want to know. So he just kept edging it off. So by this point, I'm like, no. Well, my cousins, which is my best friend, they both in heaven now. They were like, okay, because it was my older cousin's best, it was his best friend. So he was like, well, I'm telling you now, if you try to jump on my cousin after he done told you no, after he slapped the shit out you, we're going to fuck you up. And I'm telling you that now. So he was like, no, I understand, but this little bony boy ain't going to slap like that. So he kept talking, he kept talking. So I finally stand, stood up, and I just said, wow. And he said, whew. And when I tell you, you heard something snap, and he was just like, mouth was wide open, and he just grabbed his face, and he was just like, fuck, and just started like screaming, right? So I laid back on the bed like it was nothing, because I knew I was cool. Uh, and he tried it. He wanted to try to fight and tell me, let me slap him back. I was like, no, because we already told you. They're like, we already told you, so you might as well calm down. He have a mean fucking slap. And that's because I knew how to come in and just get real stiff right at that motherfucker, right to it, and just whack a lie. And I slapped the shit out of him. That basically, he was, he was numb and swollen for a minute, though. He couldn't even eat. He couldn't chew on that side. He had to chew on the opposite side because that left side was woe out. Woe it out. And he always said, ever since then, he was like, nigga, you slapped the fuck out of me. I'm going to tell you that now. He was like, I want to slap the beat. He said, I want to beat your little ass so bad. He said, but he said that that it just shocked me that, damn, this nigga just slapped the fuck out of me for real. Waka fucka. But, you know, so we cool. But that was back in the day. That was in my teens. But y'all yeah, really did bop a girl with that damn tetherball. Poor thing. I wish I could remember her name. I could look her up on. I saw a light inside of you. So shine bright tonight. This how I fucking roll. I had to go stock up. You know, I've been gone for a minute. Now I'm back to jump off. So I go into Weezy today to go stock up. And the, the grand prize. And when you spend over a certain amount, you got to roll dice. Wah, 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 bingo. And what I landed on was two leaves on the dice. So that means that was the grand prize. One very few had hit it.
and I was one of thine that hit it. The jish. The new year. I'm not going to fuck with this, though. It's the pipe. This what you got to I don't do that. So I got to get it to a gift. To give to somebody. And then, let me see. Oh, and I got it. Gave me a gram of Mars OG. It's an indica. I'm finna go on and play with that. And then it gave me five pre rolls. Neptune OG. It's the indica. Then it gave me three rolls. It's called Blue. No, Blue. I'm sorry. This is uh, Sestiva. And then they gave me some Keith, which is like some stuff that burnt, I mean, just anticipated the THC. And they gave me a gram of that. And they gave me a cookie. A chocolate chip cookie. And they gave me a card with a stamp. So when I get them all the way around, I get $20 off or I get... Yeah, we got for credit. And then if they business for which I don't need. And now it's all for me sending over $30, $20. And I hit it. Bing! And I got all this free weed. <laughs> no tea, no shit, no pick lemonade. This is about at least about a good $70 worth of free shit that it gave me. So I'm real cute. I brought in the 2018 the way I wanted to. Making money, smoking weed. So I don't know about y'all first first day of the new year, but mine has been love OD. Do you understand me? The connection is bad on your part or what? Is, is it going bad on you guys' situation? Let me know. Some people said it's going bad. Some people said it's not. No, I don't do the vape stuff. I'm not really good with that. That shit is blowing up. Is anybody still making? Hey, from London. Yes, yep. Okay, I'm going to change phone then. Okay, let me do this real quick. Let me go here. Use dying bomb. 